Hey everybody, uh, today I'm just going to whip up a really simple uh, recipe for you um, which is great for snacks, picnics, lunch boxes, um, you can even have it as a meal as well I expect um, and that is um, onion and potato, potato? Potato tortilla. Um, it's a slim world recipe and it is sin free. It takes less than 30 minutes to make and it serves four or obviously however many pieces you cut it into. So what you're going to need, you're going to need three onions, you're going to need three medium sized potatoes, six eggs, a handful of fresh parsley, I haven't got any fresh so I'm just going to use the dried parsley um, and just see how much looks about right. Uh, you're going to need two garlic cloves and I'm going to be using the garlic granules because you're going to need to chop them up and heat them anyway. You're going to need your low fat cooking spray, um, low calorie cooking spray I should say and some salt and pepper as well. So I'm just going to pop this together for you now and show you how it's done. Okay so the first thing we need to do is um, chop up your veggies so I'm just going to peel the, peel the onions and roughly chop them and then peel the potatoes and cut them into one centimetre cubes. Okay, so I have chopped up my potatoes, whoops, excuse me, I've chopped up my potatoes and I've diced my onions and now I'm just going to beat the eggs up. Six eggs in and my trusty whisk. And just beat those up. So that's all ready to go. Okay. Right, so set that to one side. If you're using fresh parsley, the best thing I would suggest would be to um, chop it up now in advance ready, but obviously I'm using the dried, so it's already all chopped up. And also if you're using fresh garlic, just peel and finely chop the garlic as well, but I'll be using the granules for ease. Okay, so we've got prepared all our ingredients, we're now going to mix. Right, so get your frying pan, nice deep one, and we're just going to spray that with some low calorie spray. So when that's hot, well, heating up, all you're going to do is just add your onions and your potatoes. And you're just going to heat them gently on, on over a medium heat for about 12 to 15 minutes until they're starting to cook through a little bit just until they get soft just stir them occasionally just to make sure they don't stick to the bottom of the pan okay so after about 10 to 12 minutes they're all softening up nicely the potatoes and the onions so into this you would just add your garlic. So as I say, if you're using fresh garlic, add your nice little chopped garlic. I'm not, I'm using the garlic granules, the Schwartz garlic granules. So it's two teaspoons, uh, no it's not, it's two quarter teaspoons. A quarter of a teaspoon is the equivalent of one clove of garlic. So I've got one and two quarter teaspoons of garlic trying to get garlic in your cup of tea <laughs> yeah. and just mix that through so it's evenly spread around the other ingredients do next is take your beaten eggs and you want to add your parsley to it so as I say it's just as a handful of fresh parsley which you have previously chopped up so I'm just going to add a touch of the dried parsley and I'm just going to mix that through Be able to taste it really. Like I 
said I've never used fresh so I wouldn't know how it actually works out with fresh but I do like parsley I love the taste of parsley so and smell <laughs> the smell of parsley right okay so I've mixed that through I'm just going to the mess around here right so once you've mixed those together you're just going to pour the um sorry you need to add your salt and pepper to it as well so i'll just quickly do that yeah so then you're just going to add this to your pan so just make sure it's sticking at the bottom there too much If you find when you're cooking your potatoes and onions, like I said, you do need to keep stirring it regularly, otherwise it will stick to the bottom of the pan. If you find it is starting to stick, you just have just a drop of water because it'll soon evaporate, um, so it's not going to make any difference, which is what I did earlier on. While this was cooking through, I just started to just drop the water underneath. Right, so let's get this egg in before all the ingredients keep escaping. So, you're just going to mix in your egg mix to the pan there we go. make sure I've got all the egg and you're just gonna gently just tilt the pan just so it you know it's covering the base really of the pan smashing and you're just going to cook that gently now on the heat uh, for between eight to ten minutes just so your tortilla is set at the bottom so the egg sets at the bottom of the pan and then we're going to grill the rest of it so we'll just get about to soft to set at the bottom like so we've only got it on a medium heat so about eight to ten minutes and that should be set quite nicely at the bottom okay so i've preheated the grill and um, you just need it on a medium hot grill and then you're just going to put it under your grill now for about five minutes just until the top is set and mind your handle when you bring it out the grill so there we go so i'll give that about five minutes okay so after about five minutes that's been in now um that is set really nicely i think yeah that's nice and firm so i'm just going to leave that to cool just slightly and then i'm going to uh, cut it up into wedges and here we have our finished dish all golden and brown i did put it back under just for a little bit just to brown it up a bit um the bottom did burn a touch when it was on the hob but that's okay um it's not too bad underneath but there we are that's all set and golden and it's all cooled off nicely and there it is all pieced up and into a box and that's going to be really handy for like snacking on um if i get a bit peckish or i might take it for my lunch a couple of days at work next week with some salad so that is your onion and potato tortilla